What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to upload a custom world to your Rust Apex servers. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every new tutorial we post just like this one. Now, when you're playing Rust, a large part of the game is exploring the world to get the best loot. Sometimes, server owners will prefer to have customized maps with more control over the biomes and monuments that appear in-game, whether it's to have a barren landscape or as many monuments as possible. With Apex Hosting, you're able to upload a custom map to your server. Today, we're going to show you how to set one on your server to appear in-game. If you're not sure how to download a map, there's a lot of locations online where you can download a custom Rust map. Whether you're using a site to download a free one or a custom made one that you purchase, make sure that it's a .map file for this to work. And also, be super careful about websites that you're on and make sure that everything is safe for your device. In order for this map to work, you're going to need to upload the .map file to a file hosting site like Dropbox. Now, when you download your files, you might accidentally or intentionally get a .zip folder like this one right here. All you need to do to fix this is right click it and then unzip it to its own folder with either 7-zip or WinRAR. And then in the folder, you're going to find a .map file of the world that you downloaded. This is going to be the world that we're going to upload to our server. So make sure to remember where it's at. Once you're on Dropbox, just simply upload your file to Dropbox. And once it's uploaded, go ahead and head to the share option and then create your link and copy it. Once you copy the link, remember to replace the ending with what you're about to see on the screen. At the end of the link, it's going to say DL equals zero. And you're going to want to change that to DL equal one. So really all you're doing is replacing the zero to a one. Super simple and easy to do. And remember to copy that link to a safe location because we're going to use it shortly. Now, what you're going to need to do for this part of the video or tutorial you're going to need to download the Rust Edit Oxide extension that can be found on this website right here, which of course is going to be linked in the description of this video. Once this is downloaded, keep that file and then just click and drag it to a folder where you can easily locate it later on. Next, go ahead and navigate to your Apex server panel and stop your server. If you're making any changes to your server ever, it's always a good idea to stop your server first. Then once it's turned offline, make sure that you have enable UMod support checked. Then on the left side of the page, go ahead and navigate and click onto the FTP file access tab to the left and log in with your info. Now you're gonna be looking for the Rust dedicated underscore data folder. Click into that folder. And in this folder, go ahead and look for managed and click into that one as well. On the left side of the screen, at the top left, you're going to see a button that says upload. Click on that. And here, simply click and drag and drop your Rust Oxide file into this part of the page. Once this is fully uploaded at 100% and uploaded one out of one files, at the bottom, you're ready for the next step. Once you've got the Oxide Rust extension uploaded to your server, all you're going to need to do now is head to your FTP area. Once you're in this main FTP area, go ahead and navigate to your server folder once you click into it, if you don't have a CFG folder, you're going to need to make one. But first, delete all of the other files 
in that folder if you don't have a CFG one, of course. So then go through the process of deleting everything in that folder except the CFG file if you have one. And if you don't have one, you can click on new folder to make one and then go and name it CFG and then just click on submit. Once you've got that folder, all you need to do to proceed is click back and click into your CFG folder. Now you're gonna need to make your CFG file if there's not one in there. All you need to do is click on new file and then name it server.cfg and then click on save. It's that easy. If you already have a CFG file, it's probably gonna look like this, so just click on edit to the right of the file to get to this page. In the file, add a new line like you're seeing on the screen right here. Level URL space, and then in quotations, just paste in your Dropbox link and make sure that it's in quotations, of course, and simply save the file. And you can restart your server by clicking on the name of your server at the top of the page if you're not prompted to restart your server once you save. And with that, your server should now be running a custom map. When Rust maps are often randomized and never really the same, it sometimes helps to have a map that's always the same, even after a world wipe. This can create areas that players fight for to make the experience more interesting overall for you and your server patrons. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.